Okay, kiddo, you ready to go? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, let me see it. Oh no, your iPad's dead, honey. Your iPad's dead. It's okay, do you want my phone instead? You wanna watch it on my phone instead? Watch it. Like that. I don't know what that means, but I'll try to figure it out. <sighs> okay. Okay guys, I just stopped at my P.O. Box. Yes, by the way, I forgot to mention to you guys that I got a P.O. Box. All of the information for that is linked down below. All right, so I just dropped Kaya off at preschool, stopped at the P.O. Box, like I said. Baby boy is just starting to stir and wake up and it is 10 o'clock. So, and I just had Starbucks, um, but I showed you what I ate there on my What I Eat in a Day video, which will be coming out on, see this is going up on Sunday, which that will be up on Thursday for you guys. So if you wanna see what I ate today and what I ate yesterday and the day before, be sure that you stay tuned for my What I Eat in a Day video. Um, all right, well, I'm just gonna get going here because I've got like lots of people like staring at me. I live in a small town, so everybody's like, what's that girl doing with a camera? All right, so we just got back from the post office, dropping Akaya off, grabbing breakfast, and little man is still sleeping. Oh, So, I think I'm going to work on my computer for a little bit until he wakes up, and yeah, that sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, so you guys have seen me do this a million times, but this is honestly like one of the most essential parts of my day is bringing the diaper cart down. It's 11.45, I pumped three ounces during that last pumping and Puppy is just waking up. Everybody asks why I call him puppy. And it's because he's so snorty all the time. And he like, he, when he breathes, it's like, <laughs> I just, oh, it's so cute. Look at him. Oh, he's just a nugget. Look at that skullet. All of my babies like go through this balding stage around like two months like six weeks to two months. <gasps> Say hello, oh my gosh. You're getting so chunky and round and cute and I love you. Mm. There we go. There's breast milk left over from his feeding that he had in the car seat. Let's see, so this is about three and a half ounces. Almost four ounces. Hang on, I gotta put it on a flat surface. Oh yeah, that's like almost, that's like four ounces almost, like just like a tish under four ounces. So, that should make him very full. Very full. I've noticed that, I've noticed that when I do these 24 hour with a baby videos, I've worn yellow shirts twice. <laughs> Hello. Which is weird because I only have two yellow shirts in my closet. <gasps> oh, so cute. This is like one of my favorite ages. <gasps> yeah, I so cute. <laughs> okay. I have, let's see, I have to freeze my two morning sessions over the last couple days. So I've got four ounces from yesterday and five ounces from this morning. And I'll be freezing both of them 
um, for his first day away from me next Monday. So, five ounces. Okay, and All right, and then I just lay them flat in the freezer after that, okay. He very aggressively took that bottle. <laughs> okay, so Riker is having another two ounces of milk. Um, what time is it? 12.45 almost. He's just about ready for his um, afternoon nap. So his schedule right now is um, like when we bring Kaya to preschool, he will take a nap in the car and then we'll continue to nap until about 11.45. So he's been up for about an hour um, and now he's just about ready for his afternoon nap. So he's really not up a whole lot during the day. And then at, like in the afternoon, like the late afternoon after his nap in the evening, that's when he's up, up for quite a while. I would say he's up from like, like four to, four to nine, a good five hour stretch, so. By the way, I get a lot of questions as to what this blue band is on this bottle. Um, I'll show you guys up close here in a second, but it just says his name, and then it says it in, in braille as well. So he is sleeping and it is 12.50 and I bet you he'll be sleeping for the rest of the afternoon until Mike gets home around like 4.30. We'll see. Um, and then I'm going to enjoy my second to last day of maternity leave. Um, so I am going to probably just sit down, watch a show. Um, I was going to record a boutique clothing haul today for you guys, but um, I think I'm actually going to record that on Saturday so that I have um, just a little bit more free time with him so I can just kind of like snuggle him while he is sleeping. And yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating, but over on my what I eat in a day video. So again, stay tuned for that video because I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm having for lunch today. And then I, let's see, 11, pumped at 11, I gotta pump it an hour because it's one o'clock right now. Always pumping, eating, feeding baby, everything is just like, you have like no time in between, I feel like, for other things, but okay. See, I'm a little man. Oh, I love you. I could just eat you up. <laughs> Look at him brown. He's like, Mom. Okay, take five. I don't know. I've tried recording this segment for you guys in this video so many times. Um, it's just such a sensitive subject, and I don't want to be put on the fire, if you will. So I've tried really, really hard this time with my son um, to make sure that he has had exclusively breast milk. Um, I'm going to admit that so far in our journey, it's been going great, but um, we have had to supplement with formula. Now it's been such a mental thing for me because I have worked so hard to have the supply that I do have, uh, which by the way, with my daughter, completely dried up at six weeks. Um, she had a great latch, she did beautifully, there was nothing wrong there, it was just my body, um, and I was having good meals, nutritious meals, plenty of calories, it didn't matter. Um, I've tried every trick in the book, I feel like, this time around, and I am still producing. I'm just not producing enough. So I'm producing currently about two ounces every two hours. So when I pump, 
I will pump at 5 a.m. and I usually get anywhere from five to seven ounces. And then I'll pump again at 7 a.m. and I'll probably get around four ounces. And then I pump every two hours after that and then it just stays consistently at about two to three ounces every two hours. Now, I've been taking that morning feed, that seven ounces in the morning, and I've been putting it, you know, three of it into a bottle for him and feeding him. And then the other four has been going into a, a bag so that I can store it for later, um, so that I have enough of a store to get me through my first day away from him at work. Um, so anyways, so four ounces is being stored in the freezer each day, four to five. And depending on how hungry he is in the morning. Anyway, um, and then throughout the day, again, like two, three ounces every two to three hours is what I'm pumping. And Riker more so wants like four to six ounces every three hours or so. Like, I'd say like three or four. Sometimes he'll cluster feed if like he's going through a leap, but about every three hours he wants about four ounces. And I'm just not providing that for him um it's been a mental struggle for me because i feel like i've worked so hard i had an absolute melt down yesterday when my husband defrosted a one of the bags of um breast milk from the freezer that i've been working so hard to save for the first day i'm away from him i had a meltdown i absolutely freaked out that he had defrosted this bag of breast milk and it really wasn't a big deal. Um, and then I just had to take a step back and, and realize how hard it really truly has been for me to breast milk this time. Breast feed, you know, pump, what have you. Um, and I have to pump because I work from home while I am on maternity leave. So there are many hours during the day where I have to um, pump and work at the same time because that's typically, you know, every two hours, which is technically every hour and a half, um, I'm having to sit down and pump. He's usually sleeping, um, but I have to sit down and pump while I'm working, typing away. And I will be away from him starting on Monday, so I have to pump. Um, obviously while I'm at work if I want him to have breast milk. So anyway, um, after my freak out last night, <laughs> I had to like take a step back, be an adult and say, hey, this is obviously a lot on you. You've tried really hard and you've done your best and you can continue to do your best, but it's okay if you have to supplement with formula. I feel like it's such like a defeat for me and I don't know why. I formula fed Kaya, there were no issues. I still felt like I was doing a great job. Um, I do remember her first formula bottle. I remember bawling because I just couldn't give her what she needed. And the formula journey was really, really hard with Kaya because we had went through like three or four different kinds of formula before we found something that kind of worked for her. Um, she had a lot of constipation issues, a lot of tummy troubles with formula. Um, thankfully this time around I found the perfect formula right away. Okay, so um, I wanted to find like a really good like supplemental formula um, so that I could breastfeed him and then also give him formula as needed. So right now the way that our like feeding schedule is going is I'm pumping enough, I'm producing enough to give him breast milk all day long. Uh, until today, <laughs> until today. Um, but breast milk all day long, and then um, once we get to about bedtime, so like 8:30, when I have just two ounces, it's just not enough. He wants he wants about four ounces every three hours at this point, and by the time we hit 8:30, I only have like two ounces left. Consistently, this is how um, he's been eating. So. I will give him two ounces of breast milk and two ounces of formula at bedtime. If he wakes up in the middle of the night because he's still hungry and needs a feeding, um, then I will supplement with formula. So this is the formula that I've been using. It's the Enfamil Neuro Pro Gentle Ease. Um, again, I chose it because it's great for supplementing and I went straight to the Gentle Ease right away um, because of our issues with Kaya. Kaya was on the Gerber 
gentle the where the milk proteins are broken down and same with this one this one has um easy gentle like or gentle easy to digest proteins um and it's very similar to um it says a fat protein blend of mfgm and dha previously found only in breast milk so like this is their brand brand new like state-of-the-art formula I actually got a steal of a deal on it on Amazon. So these are $27.99 a piece at Target, which is pretty average, I feel like, for formula, for like big brand formula. Was gonna get a six pack, and I think it was like $180. And then I got 20% off because I signed up for the subscription, which you can cancel at any time. And then I also had a coupon, so I got six containers of formula for like $80, which, is insane and I think amounts to about like $12, $13 per canister. That is a 50% savings. And if I'm just supplementing with it and I'm like not fully giving them formula, that should last me about six months. It, that is an insane amount of formula for that cheap. I, you guys know, that would probably get me like two and a half canisters if they were full price. Anyway, I just wanted to share that steal of a deal with you guys. Um, I've been chatting for about eight minutes on this topic, but I just feel that it's so important for moms to know that no matter how your baby is being fed, that you are doing a good job. And that if it's mentally hard for you, like it has been for me, then you need to take a step back and take that stress off your shoulders and know that it's okay. I have friends who had oversupply and my one really good friend had so much of an oversupply that she fed her own son and was able to um, like donate her milk and supply milk for two kids for an entire year or like nine months and then one for 12 months or something like that. And I wish, I wish I could do that, but my body just can't. So I need to be thankful for what my body can do and move on. So anyways, Let's be nice in the comments. <laughs> the comments is a happy place here on my channel. Be uplifting, support each other, and just be nice to each other in the comments. Remember that fed is best, and that no matter which path you choose to take, um, it can be stressful. So anyways, all right, happy thoughts. Okay, still watching Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> um, Mr. Man woke up, and he's so happy. Okay, so right now it is just about 7, 6, 6.50. About to have our dinner. So I need to clean up the table and get that ready. And oh my gosh. is served so yummy thank you honey yeah. mr guy's just chilling he's just happiest when he's hanging out hi hi pop hi that's a sweet boy he's like what is that big black thing in my face hi sweet boy <laughs> he's just like shocked what you're just a sweet boy. All right, puppy. I decided to put him back in this um, like sleep sack thing because I just did the laundry today. And he really liked it last night. Yes, you did. You loved it. It's like a little big. It's a lot big, actually. But... <laughs> We've got some like craziness going on over here trying to convince her to go to the bathroom before bed But you yeah, so he has not liked swaddling lately you guys He just freaks out when we put him in a swaddle so this has been working nicely But it's so big it says zero to nine months on it, but like seriously, it's very roomy Very roomy. Yeah Yeah, you're just a little guy ah. Ah. Yeah. All right, should get you a baba and get you into bed? Yeah, you're just the best boy. Hey, 
Put your passy clip on. <laughs> yeah, cute boy. He's so wiggly right now. He's so wiggly right now. Put your passy clip on you. <gasps> Whoa. All right. So then I'll just put his passy clip on him. Like Mike is dealing with her craziness. I can't show her because she's naked. But I just clip his passy onto him. And it is like 8.45ish right now. Yeah, that's when the kids go to bed. And you sleep all night for me. So we're gonna have one more bottle, and then we're gonna go sleep. Here we are, here we are. Ow, ow. All right, I wanna show you guys what I do to get ready for bed every single night. I've got my diaper cart all ready to go. So I've got, like right away at 5 a.m., I will wake up and pump, so I've got Clean um, bottles ready to go right here. Everything has been um, washed with warm soapy water, ready to go. Um, and then like I said, at nighttime he is getting formula now. If he wakes up at all, he might not wake up. So he might not need formula, but I do have um, I do have some water ready to go in here. This is like, you know, purified, whatever, ready to go water. And I'll just like measure it out and pour it into a bottle whenever I'm ready to go. All right, so it is 8.45. I just got done pumping. Um, so he'll have one more bottle yeah. of breast milk. So I'm gonna give that to him. And then he should be out, bless you. He should be out for the night after that. Um, again, if he wakes up, he yeah. will have a bottle of formula. I've got water ready to go. I take a prenatal because I'm still breastfeeding. And I also, where is it? Okay, so like I was saying, um, at nighttime I do give him his vitamin D drops. Um, he just gets one and I'll likely put it on his bottle or like on the tip of his passy. Um, just one drop is what he gets. And yeah, that is our little setup for nighttime. And then of course I have lotion and hand sanitizer on my nightstand too. Everything I need is right here in the middle of the night so I don't need to get up, leave the bed at all. Super convenient and like I said, and this too, if I like have to relieve myself in the middle of the night, this has a night light on it, which I actually do use when I um, pump at five in the morning. So here we go. Good morning, you guys. So I wanted to add just this little clip at the end of my 24 hours with a baby and let you know that yes, my camera died. Yes, he did wake up three times last night. So I just wanna give you like the most real look on motherhood as possible. Very like raw, authentic. <sighs> Riker woke up probably every hour last night. It was a really, it's been like a rough couple days. I don't know if he's going through his mental leap um, later than usual. Again, I'm gonna leave um, the leaps schedule or like the website that I refer to down below as well as the app that I use to know when Riker is going through mental leaps. It has really just let me know um, when to expect him to be fussier than usual. And you guys, I'm just like struggling with my eyebrows. Like what is going on? Like I just keep rubbing my eyebrows off today. I must be like stressed or something going like this or tired. Can you see these bags under my eyes? Like. Oh my goodness. Anyways, just wanted to include this like quick little clip at the end and say, yes, he did indeed wake up like, like I said, every hour-ish or so, like three or four times, poor little bub. I hope you guys enjoyed this 24 hours with a baby. I put a lot of footage into this video to try and like give you the best look into my day as possible. It's, he's such a good baby during the day and he's just so sweet and calm and laid back during the day. Um, I say during the day because at night he just hasn't been a happy boy lately, but again, that's raw, real, true motherhood. If you guys did like this video on my channel, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below with what your favorite parts of motherhood are in the newborn stage. Now that Riker is just about eight weeks old, I don't know if I can consider him a newborn anymore. But with that being said, this is also like one of my favorite stages in like the baby, the zero to 12 months. I love when like they just start to smile and talk a little bit more. It's, oh, it's so cute. All right, you guys, I will see you on Tuesday for my next video. Okay, bye guys.